negative space is the area in a composition that is not your main subject. It doesn't mean that it's a bad thing, particularly when it's intentional and it's well used. Lots of photos can contain unintentional empty space, and this is not often very helpful for the composition. People who are just really not being so mindful about how they're photographing a subject can frame it oftentimes in the centre and it's got space on either side that really doesn't do anything at all to help the composition. Good use of negative space helps to enhance the subject and makes it more interesting because of the negative space. You can use negative space to help draw attention to your subject and you can also use it to help create a sense of scale sometimes even making your subject appear larger than it really is or smaller than it really is depending on how you use negative space within your composition you can use certain camera techniques to help create negative space when you're in maybe photographing a busy scene or in a busy environment using a shallow depth of field is a great way to help create attractive negative space by blurring out the background behind your subject and leaving plenty of space around your subject or off to one side or above it or wherever you feel fits best, a shallow depth of field can really help enhance your subject. And to really be in control of the amount of focus that you have can create an even more interesting negative space in your photos. You don't always have to have it completely blurred out. Contrast and careful exposure is another technique that I really love using to help create interesting negative space in photos and to help isolate and really enhance my subjects. And when you're thinking about using negative space in your photos, also think about other composition techniques that you can include along with the negative space. For example, a rule of thirds often lends itself really well to be used in situations where there's nothing else in your frame. Horizontal and vertical lines, converging lines, these can all be used and incorporated into compositions with negative space. Other techniques can be used as well. And so here's your challenge. Make a series of photos of the same subject with negative space and using other composition techniques. See how many different photos that you can make like this and don't forget to make some where you're holding your camera horizontally and some where you're holding your camera vertically. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've been encouraged and maybe learned something new. If you have, give us a like and if you're new to our channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can stay up to date when we release new videos.